I'm Jerry Vi. I'm a faculty member here at Virginia Tech and assistant dean in the College of Science. I'm an ornithologist and have been directing a program for uh, education abroad in the Dominican Republic. And our students travel the Dominican Republic and uh, spend a semester um, looking at many of the natural history and social aspects of the country. I'd like to tell you a little bit about some of the ecological features of this area. Punta Cana is a top tourist destination in the Caribbean at this time. So 38 resort hotels, many visitors come to enjoy the warm beaches and the Dominican hospitality. Um, the Punta Cana Club and Hotel and the Center for Sustainable Development and Biodiversity are working hard to conserve the natural forest and the wildlife of the region. Like many islands, the Dominican Republic has species that are found there and nowhere else in the world. Currently, there are 30 species of birds that are endemic to the Dominican Republic. Ten of these can be found in the Punta Cana area. Um, bird watching has become a major uh, hobby uh, around the world, and people will travel the destination to see species of birds that they have never seen. This ecotourism brings lots of revenue into these areas, and in doing so, it helps protect na uh, natural areas for birds and other wildlife. So I'd like to take just a minute and share you in, uh, some of the species that we might see in the Dominican Republic at Punta Cana. The first is the broad-billed toady. This is not a rare species, but a very difficult species to observe. It's four inches long. It's brilliant green, red throat, and the pink sides. Um, and it's kind of uncommon to see it out in the open like this. It's much happier in dense woodlands where um, it kind of hides in the vegetation. And with a flash, you can see the brilliant color. There are five different species of toadies in the Caribbean, and so they're restricted pretty much to this area. Two species are found on Hispaniola. The broad-billed toady is the one that we're most likely to see at Punta Cana. It's a secretive bird. It builds a tunnel into a bank of dirt with using its feet and its beak uh, where it lays its eggs and raises its young. It has a darting flight, and then it perches for long periods of time, catches insects in midair, and, uh, and has a um, very secretive nature. So it's a very difficult bird to see, but one that's well worth the time. One of the rarest birds in the world with a population size of less than 300 is the Ridgeway's hawk. This is a species which is endemic to the Dominican Republic. It is confined in a breeding range to the northern part of the island of Hispaniola in Los Atices National Park. It's of great concern because any destruction by hurricanes, if a hurricane was hit directly on this park, it would wipe out the whole species. And so uh, there have been efforts at Punta Cana by the Center for Sustainable Development and Biodiversity, the Peregrine Fund, Cornell University, to move some of these birds to the Punta Cana area. And so what they do is to take chicks from a nest at the northern part in the breeding range, bring them down, put them in an isolated box, feed them, with the idea that when these birds grow up, that they'll stay in the area. And by doing so, they can seed populations of the Ridgeway's hawk and other parts of the Dominican Republic to protect the species in case of a major hurricane in the principal breeding area. This is a small raptor, uh, about the size of our broad-winged hawk here in North America. Uh, it is a lizard eating specialist, as are many birds in the Dominican Republic. Um, it is a very um, tame species, and it's easily approached uh, on the breeding ground, so you can often walk right under them, and they'll sit in a tree and, and uh, watch you. So they're fearless of people, and that's been one of the problems to their demise. They've been shot by farmers who think that they're chicken, uh, eating their chickens. Um, they uh, are, predator, are, are preyed upon by other raptors. Um, and are subject to all kinds of things, diseases and so forth, particularly from flies and so forth. Uh, by moving this bird to places like Punta Cana, uh, we're not only ensuring the population, but we're providing a major source of ecotourism because people will travel to Punta Cana to see a Ridgeway's hawk, very accessible to the airport and the hotels, into the ecological forest there. And uh, they have, uh, don't have to then go to some of the more remote areas of the island. And we can preserve these breeding habitats for the species. So our students have been helping with this project to monitor these birds as they've been released. But a really exciting 
uh, conservation effort here to preserve the Ridgeway's hawk. One of the most impressive birds at Punta Cana, but here, uh, here again, one that's difficult to see, is the Hispaniolan lizard cuckoo. This is an endemic species to the uh, Dominican Republic and Haiti. Uh, it is a secretive bird in um, bushes and shrubs. Uh, its diet consists of lizards, as do many birds there. Um, and so you often hear the bird before you see it, or uh, all you may hear is the call. It's a very, um, I guess, uh, irritating call to some species, but it's got <laughs> And so you can hear them, you know they're there, and hopefully you get a flash of this bird. It's about 18 inches long. It has a very long tail. One of the really uh, significant features is this hook at the end of the beak, which it uses to grasp and hold on to lizards. Uh, and then flails them on a branch to, uh, to kill them before it consumes them. But a really impressive species with these chestnut wings. There's a bright red skin around the eye. And uh, a favorite bird of our uh, students when they go down to see this bird because it's very impressive when it flies out of the thicket uh, looking for lizards or carrying lizards back to feed its mate. But another very special bird that's fairly easy to see in Punta Cana uh, with a little bit of patience and practice. Our last really important species um, to observe in, in Dominican Republic at Punta Cana is the palm chat. Now this is not an uncommon bird, but it's a surprising bird because it's the only place in the world it's found. It's the only species in its family. And so it's a very unique bird. This is also the national bird of the Dominican Republic. Now, unlike many national birds that are either regal or brightly colored, this bird is neither. It is a very drab species by comparison. It's olive green, about the size of a robin, a striped breast, and a bright red eye. And uh, so it's not an attractive bird. Well, why was it chosen? Well, it's chosen because it really symbolizes the Dominican people. Uh, they're very social. They like to be together. They're very loud and gregarious. Uh, and uh, they're have a real love of family. And so generally when you see one of these birds, you'll see a group. Um, and so it's a, a often a very common bird to see, but it's disarming in the fact that people come here expecting this to be a very rare bird. And you see it in birds on every palm tree on the resort, this large nest at the top of the tree with 20 to 30 birds in there. And the chatter is just wonderful. It's a very great way to wake up in the morning to see uh, a bird that you can only see in one place in the world, and that's the Dominican Republic. And a very fitting bird to be their national bird. But this is one specialty bird that's easy to see in Punta Cana. Visitors get out for the plane, they get to the hotel. Before you take your baggage in, it's there. And so it's just a real great welcome to Punta Cana and the Dominican Republic.